Susie here. Excuse me while I just have a drink. I am so thirsty. Ah, that's better. Boy, I needed that. <coughs> Excuse me, where did that come from? You know, some people think that burping is rude. But in ancient Rome and in some Middle Eastern countries, they think that burping is a compliment to the cook. It's true. But why does my body make rude noises? My body makes a rude sound when it burps. I sometimes do a farty noise. My body grumbles. Burps and farts and does all sorts of yucky things. And burps. Tummy crackles. Burps. Farts. I like burping. <laughs> okay, I'll start at the top and work my way down, so to speak. Now, burping is all about gas, natural gas, and your body makes plenty of it. And everybody burps. Your mum, your dad, your teacher, you, everybody. In fact, you burp about 15 times a day. In a week, you'd burp 105 times, giving you a grand total of... <laughs> How's that for a statistic? Mind you, you did burp more when you were a baby. Babies drink a lot of liquid from bottles. They swallow the liquid down and a gas called air. Parents pat their babies back to help them bring those burps up. So, your career in burpdom started many years ago. <laughs> Burps come from your stomach, which is a small sack of muscles. One end is attached to the esophagus that goes all the way up to the throat, and the other end is attached to the small intestine. In your stomach is a bubble of air that sits in the upper half of your stomach. And your stomach really is a bit like a balloon. As you eat food, it stretches. It also stretches with liquid and air, because as you swallow your food in liquid, you also swallow air, and that adds gas to the stomach. As your stomach digests the food, it adds a stomach acid and creates more gases. Those gases build up, the pressure is on, and the gas has to go somewhere. And I think I could make this balloon burp. <laughs> Imagine, if you will, that this balloon is your stomach. The neck of the funnel is your esophagus, and the open mouth of the funnel is your mouth. Let's give you some food. Woohoo! The gases are building up. Who are you going to call? Burp busters? Well, what if I open your esophagus a little? <laughs> <laughs> it worked! The balloon burped. And that's just what your stomach does as it's digesting food. Hey, if you clamp your lips together tightly when you burp, the burp can come out your nose. But can we classify that as a burp? I'll leave you to ponder it. I'm going to be serious for a moment now because I've got an important announcement to make. Farts passing wind. Now, some people think those words are disgusting and rude, but really, they're a natural part of life. Passing wind is natural and normal, and everybody does it. Even famous people pass wind all the time. And the word is actually flatus or flatulence, and that comes from the Latin word flatus, which means the act of blowing. <coughs> they sure got that right. <laughs> Passing wind is extra gas that instead of going up, 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 up like burps actually goes down, 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 down through the intestines all the way down until it comes out your anus. 
And although it seems fairly easy to be able to pass wind, for your stomach it's actually a hard process. The stomach has to mush and squeeze all that food up and then pass it into a small pipe here into your small intestine in your gut. Here in the small intestine, all the nutrients and vitamins pass through the intestine wall out into your blood. The rest of the stuff moves from your small intestine into your large intestine. And it's while it's in the large intestine here that wind is manufactured. Well, not everything is broken down by the time it reaches your large intestine. These foods include dairy products, products made from wheat, broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, radishes, apples, onions, cabbages, and yes, the ever-powerful bean. If you want to win an Olympic gold medal in passing wind, you need to eat lots of food with fibre and indigestible sugars. Then you're bound to let rip with power. You may not know it, but your large intestine is home to billions of very tiny creatures called bacteria. The main bacteria in your large intestine is called E. coli. These guys are microscopic and they love to snack on undigested food. And just like our body produces wastes when we eat, bacteria produces waste too. And those gases from the waste build up. Build up and the pressure is so strong that it has to come out your bottom. When you pass wind, it's really just a mixture of gases. Most of those gases are carbon dioxide, hydrogen and methane. And those three gases are odourless. They have no smell. Hydrogen is lighter than air, so that's often why passing wind will stay. It floats and lingers for a while. So what gives passing wind that smell? These three gases here. There's hydrogen sulphide, indole and scatol. So what smells like what? Let's see. Whoa. Be glad you don't have smell -a vision Ooh, this smells like rotten eggs. Ooh. Ooh. And these two gases have the trademark smell of poos. But don't blame passing wind on the smell. You only need a little bit of these gases to give a smell. Your nose is the culprit. Your nose can detect odours even when they've been diluted down by 10 billion times. How many times a day do you pass wind through your anus? Have you ever counted? Cheeky. Well, scientists have been doing research and the average person passes wind through their anus about 14 times a day. It's natural and healthy. Your body has a lot of gas inside it and it needs to get that gas out. And if you don't get it out, you can get stomach cramps, you can feel all dizzy, and you can get headaches. Some people think that wind escaping from your anus or esophagus is really funny. <laughs> However, if you do have to do that wind passing thing, it's always best to do it in private. And if it should escape accidentally, you can always say, excuse me, or pardon me. If you'd like to find out more about your body, you can head to my website. I'm at www.susie.co.nz. You can write to me at Tree Hut Productions, P.O. Box 34307, Birkenhead in Auckland. Hey, see you next time. Hey, Mum and Dad, thanks for paying your broadcasting fee.